What's up guys? I had to change my username on YouTube from Viber Nico to Light Spiritual. And after so many days, I can change my name again, guys. I'm going to probably change my name to Spiritual Light. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, I had to change my username because I need to ward off the evil spirits, the demonic spirits, the satanic spirits. Uh, because Vibra Nico, as catchy of a name as it was, um, it wasn't really uh, specifying um, what I believe in, which is I believe in God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Bible, um, the light. So Vibrant Nico was more of just like, you know, I'm, I'm vibrant, you know, I'm feeling good, right? But now I've actually gotten to the point where I've decided, you know what? I'm feeling good in the light, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of God. Even though I've always been with that side, um, you know, I'm really trying to remove the devil from my life, um, to remove Satan from my life, from my body, from my vessel, um, and remove him as far away from me as possible. Um, because he does influence your life and he does cause destruction, guys. He causes destruction and he blocks blessings, okay? Um, for example, uh, there was still a, I believed in, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, but there were still a couple things I was doing that was um, of the devil and it was blocking all of my blessings, guys. Um, so I really needed to change uh in my own life, I changed over to, you know, I got a Holy Bible, started really, you know, praying to God, going to church, uh, getting back in the right uh, areas. But yeah, also I decided to inflict the change on my YouTube channel uh, because I do want people to know what I stand for and where I'm coming from. I'm not just a vibrant person named Nico, even though Nico is not even my real name. Um, I go by lots of different names, but someone called me Nico and I liked it. So I was like, you know what? Let me, uh, Nico, that's catchy, right? Vibrant Nico. But uh, now it's to the point where I've specified, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I was so afraid to even make my first video talking about God, Jesus Christ. But you know, when you get that feeling of scaredness, that's when you should really do something, guys. It's like God communicating to you, like, do it. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, God is saying, like, do it. Face your fear. Uh, do what you're afraid to do. Uh, put yourself out there and get out of your comfort zone um, to the point where, basically, uh, I did do it. And I got so much feedback, guys. So much good feedback. So much support um, from all these people. So many new subscribers. Um, just I truly feel blessed, man. Uh, in the name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel so lucky and I'm just so proud that I did do what I did and I faced my fear. So that's why I changed my username to, you know, uh, light spiritual. And now my underscore is at spiritual light 12. So, you know, it's a bit of a change, but, you know, I'm still the same person uh, renewed by God um, and God is speaking through me. He's using my vessel to spread his holy word in the name of Jesus Christ. So yeah, guys, you know, I'm back. I'm better. Every day I'm getting better. Every day my hair is growing longer. Every day I am still celibate to God. Um, every day I am fasting in one way or another. I wake up and I fast until I eat at night. Or let's say I wake up. I don't just go right for, you know, a bag of chips. When I wake up, I am always at least fasting until, let's say someone, I go somewhere and they have a meal prepared. Well, I will partake in the meal because, you know, it's important to also be united with people, especially on your days off from like work. Um, well, it is good to fast on your days off from work, but I'm just saying that if, if you go around people, um, you know, not every time, but it's nice to partake in a meal with them. Uh, to connect with them and to spend your time with them. Uh, you'll have your days for fasting. You'll have your days off for fasting um, when you're getting closer with God, when you're praying to God. Um, but yeah, so even when I wake up, I'm not reaching for a bag of chips. I'm at least fasting until I go somewhere and I decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to eat. 
or I, I fasted, uh, I woke up, I fasted, I fasted throughout church. And after church, something was telling me, you know what, go, uh, go treat yourself, go reward yourself, go, uh, go have a big meal. And I did that yesterday. Um, and it was so wonderful and it was amazing. And, you know, today I fasted all the way until I believe it was, um, it was like 6 PM and then I had a meal and, you know, I'm thankful I'm hoping to start fasting for like a full day, guys, just, you know, drinking water, but just fasting, just a water fast. Um, that's my next goal, guys, because every day I'm fasting and it's becoming easy to me. It's like I'm synced up with God um, when I fast, guys. And when I eat, I feel like nervous. I feel like anxiety. Um, that's why that's why I fast all day, you know, throughout my job. Because I need to be on point and I can't be too soft at my job. I got to be uh, hard. I got to be like, you know, this is what we got to do, guys. We got to get this done. Uh, we got to work hard. We got to, you know, I got to be motivating. Um, and, and when I eat, I just start to feel anxiety and I just start to feel like um, a little bit of worry. Um, so when I work, I really like to be fasting because it ensures I'm on point and I'm hearing God's words. Um, and I'm just, you know, my best self, um, along with uh, being celibate to God. But uh, yeah, so like after I work, I have a meal. Um, I start to feel good from eating, like my body feels good, but my spirit doesn't feel that good. And a lot of times I'll just take a nap after I eat, wake back up and start making videos and start feeling refreshed again. Um but yeah, guys, uh, I'm really looking forward to having a day off from my job so I could do a full day fast, pray to God, um, just get close with him, read the Holy Bible, uh, listen to some gospel music and just continue to remain celibate. So I'm really looking forward to having a full day off, um, even though I had a day off yesterday after church. Like I said, I was feeling like, you know, let me give me a meal inside of me uh, after worshiping God and praying to him and, you know singing the gospel at church not that i'm in, in like the choir or in anything like that but i was just singing along with uh, the band so yeah guys I, i'm sharing a lot with you guys uh feel free to let me know down in the comments share some things with me guys it's a two-way street it's a two-way relationship yeah comment anything you feel you see fit guys i'm here for you i love to read the comments i'll read every single comment guys uh so far um, it has been getting a little tricky because I've been getting like six comments a day, 10 comments a day. And, uh, I I've read every single comment. Uh, but also like if I work all day and then I get 10 comments, then I'm over here, like feeling all popular, like, Oh yeah, now I get to go respond to these people, but I can already see one day how it might turn into a hundred comments. And then it's going to be harder to read every comment guys, but, uh, I still read every comment. Um, as long as I can, guys, you know, as, as met much time as there is in the day, I will read your comments because I don't have anything better to do besides pray to God, besides read the Holy Bible, besides be in the word of God and Jesus Christ. Um, that will take, uh, precept over, you know, YouTube, right? So I'm going to be doing all that stuff so I can bring you guys the most updated information, the most correct information. Um, to just bring these words from God. Like I said, he's using my vessel uh, to spread his holy word onto you. So yeah, I'm going to put that stuff first so I can bring the best messages to you guys. Um, but let's say I have extra time left over. I'll be reading all the comments and I'll be, of course, I'll be making videos. But after the videos are made, I'll be reading the comments. And yeah, guys, it's like an interactive community where we can just uh, you, you can comment on my videos. I can share things with you. I can make posts. Even though I'm not a big poster, I'm not a big social media kind of person. I just like stepping on here and just speaking and just giving you guys these uh, these um, important things that I have to say um, that's coming from God. It's not really coming from me. Um, I just get on here and I let God use, use my vessel uh, to spread his holy word. Um, because I don't really have a lot to say as a physical human, right? I don't really have anything to say about sports or 
TV or movies. I have a lot of things to say about God, about, you know, Jesus Christ, about the Holy Bible. And it's all coming from my spirit, guys, because I have the spirit of God within me in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I have the Holy Ghost within me, guys, and I'm removing the devil from me. Every single day I pray to God, you know, I pray to him. That's my personal prayers to him. But I'll just let you guys in that I do pray for God to remove the devil from my life, um, from my body, from my vessel, and just to remove the spirit of Satan from me and to please um, keep the devil as far away from me as possible because the devil will manifest in a lot of different people uh, throughout your life or noises, right? You'll feel like you're in spirit spiritual warfare. Like before I started filming this video, there keeps going like this tapping, like t -t 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 -t, coming from downstairs and like the apartment downstairs. And I was thinking like, why does this keep happening where it's like, t -t 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 -t? and I was like, something's not right here. Or like the other night I hear tapping outside my window, not like some human is tapping on my window, but more it's like boo, 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 right by the window, but like. And I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel like the room shaking. I just felt like a noise of like, boo, 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 boo. and it's, it feels like it's spiritual warfare. So I, I pray to God. I say, please, God, protect me from the devil. Please, God, protect me from protect my body tonight when I rest, when I sleep and protect, protect me for the rest of my life. Every single day, every single night, um, you know, I, I do. I do basically open up to God, guys, uh, because who else do you really have to open up to you? Who else do you really have that's going to always listen to you and is going to inflict change in your life? He's going to give you new connections, right? God might not always sit there and talk to you like a human being, but he is going to unlock a new connection within you through, through prayer. Um, all of a sudden, you're just going to know something. All of a sudden, you're just going to know what to do in a specific situation. Uh, all of a sudden, you, he's just going to start speaking through you and using you as a vessel. Um, so you're just going to know exactly what to do. Um, and it's not like knowing in a human kind of way where you have all the answers uh, in your brain. It's more all the answers in your spirit. So you do the things that you've got to do in your life to keep um, to keep kind of uh, making sure that you have a good life, right? You got to keep a a uh, roof over your shoulders, um, you probably want to have a vehicle, you probably want clothes, you know, you want to make sure that you are able to be functioning member of society. Uh, but other than that, you give yourself over to God, you surrender to him, in the name of Jesus Christ, and then God kind of just takes over your life, and things start happening very rapidly. And then people start trying to contact you again. Uh, maybe people you reached out to before, um, God really started uh, basically uh, multiplying within you, within yourself. The spirit of God started multiplying within you. And now these people are reaching out to you and they're saying, and you're like, wow, my, my life just already um, basically took off full speed uh, with the spirit of God within me. So now it's sort of like uh, too little too late for these people because there's so many new people I'm reaching every day. That um, it's kind of hard to make time for old things, old ways, um, you know, all types of things that, you know, just there's no time for it no more. Um, and people will still need you. You still want to help out those people. But uh, you got to you got to really use good discernment skills to understand what do they really need from you? Oh, they want you to come over for. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner with their with their family. They they see you as part of their family. Oh, go be there for them. Go laugh with them. Go enjoy with them. Go partake in the Thanksgiving dinner with them. Oh, they want to go to the bar. They want to go pick up women. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay in the crib, my guy. Uh, I'm not really uh, I'm not really feeling up for that today. I'm just gonna stay in the crib, even though I never feel like doing that stuff again. I'm gonna just tell my homie like. You know what, friend? I think I'm just going to uh, stay in the crib tonight. Maybe next time. Even though deep down, I'm thinking like I'm never doing those things again. Um, you know, why would I go to a bar and why would I pick up women, guys? Uh, women women basically uh, 
magnetized to me everywhere I go. And I, I picked the woman that I want to marry and to be in my life. Um, one woman that I see fit to uh, basically improve my life and I'll improve her life. And it's going to be like that, guys. Um, I don't need to go pick up women. Right, there's already women that are in my life as friends, as companions, as just um, basically people I look up to. Um, but yeah, I only have my eyes set on one woman right now. Um, and it could change in the future. But for right now, I just have my eyes on the one uh, female. Um, and maybe something will happen and maybe I'll have to start finding a different female. Um, but really, guys, I'm not looking that much. Um, I'm just letting them come to me. And I did feel the spirit of God um, connect me with a certain female. So that's the one that I'm um, basically trying to get to know better, to talk to. You know, I've already, the spirit of the devil has already kind of uh, messed things up with me and her. You know, I, I have said some things. I did use some harsh words to her. And, you know, I take full responsibility, but I also understand that that's the devil leaving my body, guys. He He's putting up a fight. He's trying to ruin these last blessings that God gave me. He's trying to ruin the job, the job that f fall into my life through God, uh, the women that fall into my life through God in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, the devil is trying to ruin my blessings, but I've already cut out all my sins I've already um, repented to God. I've already began helping people. You don't know how close yesterday I was to, um, you know, yesterday there was a situation and, you know, basically it was a test. And, you know, I'm not sure if I passed the test because there was different layers to the test. But I do know that I set a good example for the person that tested me. That it was really the spirit that was testing me within that person. Um, the person does have the Holy Spirit within them. Um, I know that for a fact. Um, but yeah, there was a test that took place yesterday. And I believe I passed the test. But I don't think, I'm not sure if I did 100% on the test, guys. I, I think I might have hit 50% or 75%. Um, so I did, I did kind of mess up yesterday. And it had an effect on me all throughout today. But then God put another test into my life. Um, I know I passed this test. I spoke. I spoke with the words of God within me. Um, I didn't necessarily speak um, on. You know, it, it's hard to really say, though, because the words I did speak were coming from within. Um, and I'm hoping they were coming from God in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope. That God was using me as a vessel to speak. Um, because sometimes it's hard to navigate certain waters. Um, the Holy Bible is very helpful. It's very useful. But then there's some situations in life that um, it's very hard to kind of interpret. Like let's say someone's trying to harm you, right? But the Bible says don't uh, tussle over blood and flesh. So it's saying don't fight people physically, right? You fight them with the spirit. Uh, you preach to them and, and you say, you preach to them and you say, oh, I'd like to remove the devil from you. All this stuff, right? That's what the Holy Bible says to do is you you do not tussle over um, blood and flesh. But let's say someone's trying to physically harm you. Well, well, then do you do you fight back? I mean, I know I know uh, Jesus Christ goes by not just Jesus Christ, but God, Jesus Christ, uh, the Holy Bible. Um Christianity goes by, you know, you turn the other cheek, right? And that's something I believe in too. But, uh, you know, I did speak to somebody and I did tell them, you know, basically what I told them was you got to, you got to sometimes have a little tough love um, for your children, especially when they're going down the wrong path. You got to have a little bit of tough love with uh, the people you care about, just like God does, right? God uses tough love with the people he cares about. And, so, you know, in one way or another, it ties into God in the name of Jesus Christ, because God does use tough love, uh, but he also is more on like positivity. And let's let's say you're doing something wrong. He's more to just withdraw from your life uh, than to really go in on you and just go ham. Right. God is going to withdraw from your life when you are sinning. 
Um, that's one thing about God. But he does have tough love too sometimes, guys. It, it depends on the situation. It depends on what you really need in that moment. Or if he feels like he has hope with you, if he can talk you out of the situation. Um, so yeah, guys, I just went with my holy word. Um, well, really, I went with uh, the spirit of God within me today. And I just spoke and gave someone advice that I care about. And I don't know if I said the right words, but I do know um, that I used emotions to just inflict what I what I thought. And hopefully that's going to help someone uh, because if someone is just lost and you just give them uh, something, this is from my heart, then it's going to hopefully at least put them in the right direction, um, especially if they're a God loving person. Uh, they have the Holy Spirit within them. I don't think you can really go wrong. If you have the Holy Spirit within you, someone else has the Holy Spirit within them. They need help. You're the only one at the moment that could really say any words to um, move them. And you say words to move them. Um, and then, you know, you move forward and, you know. But yeah, I mean, I'm just speaking about, you know, another test that happened to me today. And, uh, you know, I, I probably shouldn't even really be speaking on this situation. Um, but it's more just a situation to show you guys that. You will be tested every day. Um, God puts a lot of tests into your life. Um, and the devil also puts tests into your life. So you got to be careful. you got to use very good discernment skills uh, to discern where is this coming from, right? Just yesterday, I thought the test was coming from the devil. But it was really coming from God all along. And, uh, you know, I felt the Holy Spirit go within me today. It gave me the right words to uh, say it even gave me the right words to sort of patch things up with uh, the woman I've been talking to, um, to kind of like just put the right words into the right format uh, for me to sort of uh, like a breakthrough, guys. As a chosen one, a chosen vessel by God, you're going to have breakthroughs with people. Um, as long as you feel the spirit within yourself and you feel the words coming from somewhere, some spiritual aspect. Uh, and you're praying to God, you're believing in God, you're worshiping God in the name of Jesus Christ, you're reading the Holy Bible as much as you can, or at least uh, reading it more than you have in the past, um, then these words are going to be coming from God, guys. But it's not like everything you say is going to come from God, guys. you got to really try to get the devil out of your vessel, out of your life. Just remove the devil from you, and m more of these words are going to start becoming from God, using you as a vessel, guys. Um, so don't think everything that comes out of your mouth is holy, right, as a chosen one. Um, instead, just really try to cleanse yourself, uh, cleanse your spirit. Uh, make sure you have as much of the Holy Spirit within you. And that's when the words that come out of your mouth are going to be majority from God, from Jesus Christ, um, using you as a vessel. If you can remove the devil completely from your life, uh, then basically all the words are going to be coming from God in the name of Jesus Christ. As long as you can tap into that spirit, guys, as long as you can listen to the spirit and you can sort of, like I said, just be on autopilot um, in your physical world. Right. Uh, you have a shelter. You have, you know, a vehicle if you need to. You, um, you have clothes so you're not like no clothes or something. Right. That's what I mean by on autopilot. Then your spirit can just take over. Uh not your spirit, but God's spirit, uh, the Holy Ghost, can take you over and do God's word, okay? Do the things that God sees fit for you to do, using you as a vessel um, in this life. So, yeah, I mean, there's things you have to be doing in the physical realm. But other than that, uh, just let God take you over as a chosen one uh, because you have the spirit of God within you. You just got to tap into that, guys. Um, just tap into that spirit within you and use your discerning skills to make sure it's really God within you from the name of Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, the more the more you can get in tune with Jesus Christ, with the Holy Bible, um, the devil is going to want to flee your body, guys. The light and the darkness do not mix, guys. Um, they might temporarily be able to withstand each other, but eventually the devil will flee you as long as you are worshiping God. You're praying to God in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Bible. Um, the devil is, is not going to stay within you for very long or he's going to flee you. 
Um, it doesn't mean he's not going to come back and try to persuade you and try to test you and try to, um, you know, ruin your blessings, guys. That's a test that the devil does to ruin your blessings if you fall for his tricks. So, yeah, guys, um, just make sure that you pray to God to please God. Keep the devil as far away from me as you can. Remove the devil from my vessel. Remove the devil from my life. Uh, be a wall for me from the devil to not let him in. And you guys will be just fine, man. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be just fine. Uh, as a chosen one with the Holy Spirit within you, with God, um, basically with God's spirit, basically within you, you're going to be just fine. Um, your blessings are going to be very fruitful, um, you know. It's going to be a great life for you. You've probably already been through the storm. You've probably already been through pain. You've already probably been through struggle. And I'm here to tell you that as a chosen one, great things are coming for you because the spirit of God is within you. Okay, so live your life um, not only for God. Let him use you as a vessel. And in letting him use you as a vessel to help other people to um, spread, um, you know, positivity and to be a role model for everyone around you guys. Everyone around you, you got to be a good role model for. Um, you got to be someone that people look up to, um, which you already are as a chosen one. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are already, you know, someone that people look up to you so much just because of the spirit within you. But you also got to make sure that you're saying um, things that are going to guide them in the correct direction and be doing things that um, are the right thing to do. Even if you can only set an example one time, um, you set that example and you stand on it and they can take it or leave it. And one day they might look back to that example and it might really influence them. But in the moment, they might say, oh, you're wrong and walk away, right? Because the spirit of the devil is, is um, telling them to do that. It's taking over their body and kind of like blocking their blessing. Because you are a blessing for other people as a chosen one. With the spirit of God within you, you're a bl walking blessing and you don't even know it. Seriously, you are a walking blessing. A walking, talking blessing. And that's why the right people are going to fall into your life at the right time. There's no need to worry. There's no need to stress. There's no need to have uh, depressed thoughts, anxieties, uh, because Jesus Christ takes this all away, guys. Surrender to God. Go to church. Read the Holy Bible, guys. Jesus saves. Jesus will save you. Um, you know, there is an eternal kingdom within heaven, guys, within God, within Jesus Christ. And he saves, okay? But you must cease your sin. And you must repent for all of your sins. And you must forgive anyone who has wronged you, guys. And, you know, it's not that hard, guys. Just keep open communication with God, guys. Get on your knees. If you're having, if you're having some kind of emotional breakdown, call it an emotional breakthrough, guys. Pray to God with all your emotions uh, when you're breaking down. And God will give you a breakthrough, guys. He will pump the Holy Ghost within you. He will pump his spirit. Uh, he will multiply his spirit within you, guys. And now you're going to be synced up with God. Um, he's going to give you new connections to basically um, really navigate this world and be the best person for all the people that look up to you. Because um, when, when you just get on your knees and you just open up to God and you're vulnerable with God... Oh my God, this is a breakthrough. This is a spiritual breakthrough, guys. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, touch on it enough that it's going to get rid of all of your anxieties, all of your depressions. You're going to feel just joy um, when you truly open up to God and you just really just open everything up to God and say, this is how I'm feeling. You don't always have to worry about being 100% correct. Just open yourself to God. You can go back and read the Holy Bible later. But for now, just admit where you're at with God. Be very honest with him and ask him to guide you um, away from sin. 
and to guide you away from anything uh, that he doesn't want you to do. So yeah, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe to pass this message forward.